thank you for joining us for our reflection on a lesson from the Daily Office Lectionary. My name is Maureen Demler and I serve as deacon at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Wednesday of the sixth week of Easter. Let us pray. O oh God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as surpass our understanding. Pour into our heart such love towards you that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson comes from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, the first chapter, beginning at the first verse. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, to the saints who are in Ephesus and are faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world, to be holy and blameless before him in love. He destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace that he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace that is lavished on us. With all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, that he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time, to gather up all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Here ends the lesson. In his Bible study on Ephesians, David Jeremiah tells the story of an old man who was asked to give his testimony in his church. He was excited about the opportunity, and when he got up, he talked about God until he couldn't think of anything more to say. He spoke at length about how God had loved him, called him, found him, cleansed him, and filled him. He gave a glorious testimony. At the end of the service, he was approached by a younger man in the congregation who felt it was his duty to provide some correction. He came up to the old man and said, I liked your testimony, except you just talked about God's part. You didn't tell us about your part. Salvation is a two-way deal. You've got to do your part, and God has got to do his part. We only heard about God's part. Why didn't you tell us about your part? The old man thought about this for a moment. Well, I guess I should, he said. I'll tell you what my part was. I ran away from God as fast as I could, and he ran after me. That's the way it worked. This is the way that it works for most of us. We don't come begging to God. Rather, God comes after us and pursues us until he makes us his own. As a result, we now know that we are adopted into his family, accepted in his beloved family, redeemed and forgiven. God chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world. From eternity past to eternity future, we are in Christ. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for choosing us. May we be spurred on by your love to do great works and yet never substitute those works for your great grace. May we always hear your voice. 
Keep us amazed and mesmerized by what you have done for us. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our Gospel Reflection. Join us every weekday morning. If you're in Clifton Park, join us for service on Saturday at 4.30 or Sunday mornings at 8 or 9.30. All our offerings are on our website.